they jump on you with more problems and demands for you to help them with things you just don't have the energy to deal with. Maybe you have a pet and that animal is just getting into everything it's not supposed to, all up in your way, knocking things over, making more noise than you can take. And then the phone rings. Hello? Hello! Don't hang up! You have been selected to win a free 10-day vacation to Hawaii! <laughs> to understand the text of the Torah literally. The Israelites couldn't understand Moses' message or comprehend the overwhelming news because of their physical condition. However, the Hebrew word for breath also means spirit. They weren't just out of breath. They were under-spirited, unpaid workers with 
low morale. It wasn't just their physiological needs that weren't being met. It was safety needs. They felt threatened in Egypt. It was social needs. They didn't feel like they fit in with the culture. It was esteem needs. They felt disrespected as a people and certainly weren't getting any positive acknowledgement for all their hard work. They were nowhere near self-actualization where they needed to be in order to pick up what Moses was putting down. That's why Moses needed to go back to the root of the problem, in this case, Pharaoh, and change the situation. Get Pharaoh to let them go, get them out of the land of Egypt, get them reconnected as a people. Only then would they be able to achieve self-actualization. It's important to remember, people have needs. If I'm arguing with my partner about what to have for dinner, chances are we're not arguing about dinner at all. One of us is probably fighting for respect or understanding, or maybe we're just hangry. May we all learn to acknowledge our own needs and the needs of others. And may we all support each other in that quest for self-actualization and a higher understanding of ourselves and of our world.